<laughs> this bill will propose changes to the Constitution, which officially recognize a ceremonial prince within the Commonwealth. Further, it will designate their rights and duties. A ceremonial prince will be adopted to the co- into the Commonwealth, which will not possess any form of governmental or military authority. My questions and concerns are what this is really, how this is really, really benefit the people, trickle one, to adding another position, another title. I, I just, I don't see the benefits. Can someone explain me the benefits of this? Like legit benefits? We're here to pass bills to benefit the people of Jakul, especially North Jakul, since that's who I represent. Um, my issue with it is we have other issues that we should be focused on right now. But right now we are in Bill 42. And the people, 92% of our citizenry, including every founder except for one, has voted in favor of this. Are we not representing our people? Are we not keeping in the traditions of our country? I don't think that it's uh, that it's a bad idea. I very much don't. I think um, kind of going off of what uh, Paul was saying is that if we're about to transition um, into, you know, this monarchy and try and establish a very strong, uh, you know, parliament and, and old business aside, it's not old business, it's we're coming in this and we want to do this better than how it's been done where everyone's proactive and everyone has very clear ideas of what is expected of us and everything else. Um, I just would wonder if we could um, potentially push this to our next session because we are about to go through a very large transition. I just ask you to keep in mind that our citizenry elected us and when we bring out a vote of an idea and 92% of that citizenry wants that, we need to take that into account. Now, if this takes multiple sessions to pass or deny, so be it. But we are here for the people, and the people have spoken. For the chair, seconds the motion to vote. All in favor, starting with Mr. Cooper. Mr. Cooper says aye. Mr. Fry. I sustain. Ms. Hood. Aye. And the chair votes aye. Abstain is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Fry. So, to abstain, three in favor. The motion passes on Senate Parliament Bill 42. Ceremonial monarchy passes. All right, Parliament Bill number 43. The bill proposes a change from the titles of President and Vice President to Chancellor and Vice Chancellor due to the Prince being designated as a head of state per SB 42. The President is the head of government along with his Vice President due to a new government being adopted. Chancellor and Vice Chancellor are the proposed titles. Article 11, Section 1 and 2 need revision to reflect these changes. The floor is now open for discussion. May I have the floor? Strada has the floor. Just a very simple question. Um, president and vice president, do you want the change? Because it's your titles. <laughs> I don't think that the titles themselves affect anything that we do. Um, to me, it seems more like a, a preference thing. So... Uh, I would just like to hear if there were any, like, if you, you guys had a preference toward it or not. Hearing no further discussion, we have a motion on the floor. Does anybody motion to vote? Mr. Cooper motions to vote on Parliament Bill 43. Do I have a second? Aye. Hearing a second, we will... Proceed to vote, starting with Mr. Cooper. Mr. Cooper says aye. Miss Hood. Aye. Aye. Mr. Fry. Aye. Aye. Miss Estrada. Sorry, aye. 
Thank you. I and the chair votes aye as well. With all ayes, no opposed. Parliament Bill 43 passes. Vice Chancellor and Chancellor is now enacted.